in the life of an individual, we are always considering how do we make a living and how are we going to plan enough of our career in order to gain ourselves through some retirement so that we don't have to spend the elder years in retail hell or in some sort of hourly wage job that will not pay us well enough to live. In life, living in the business, you are free of a lot of bills. You are free of a lot of abuses, not at all. The abusers of America are using people who come here from foreign lands, especially lands that have no God at all. When I'm talking about things, I'm talking from real reporter experience, real observations, real things that we need to stop people from doing, and stupid little shits who never know where their boundaries begin and end. When I'm channeling for God, I don't always like what I'm saying. I can't always remember what I've said. It's possibly true. But openly, do you know what a channel is for God? If you haven't read your Bible or Quran or your other Jewish Kabbalahs uh, in a while, books in a while, like the Zohar, then maybe you don't know what a channel is or an oracle is for the Lord. But I'm going to tell you today that if you have no spiritual gifts, if you have no audio track gifts where God whispers lovingly in your ear and tells you what to do to help you to be the best you you can be, then you're missing out on the magic of Jesus, you see. There are a lot of prophets that have come into the world and left. A lot of men, a lot of women who carried the torch for God. Blaze Communications was set up as a oriented, if you will, oriental oriented company with a flame as a part of its logo. That flame I'll explain, but I won't explain the rest of the logo. That flame was for the love of the girl that I married long ago. But that flame now represents how the Holy Ghost burns through someone to get them to be as much as they can be for God's house. You see, when you're not willing to listen to people, you never learn. And when you're not willing to learn, you pretty much stay stuck where you are. But when you're thinking that you're in power over other people who are learning about their lives and figuring out their ways to do things, you're sort of stupid in the world. People go through life in Stupidville all the time, but sometimes they don't get the picture that they're in Stupidville until it's much too late. Life is not meant to be a lesson that you give to other people. Life is meant to be a loving time where we share relationship time, moments that matter, and making people, well, feel more in real relationships than they've ever had before. One of my dear friends from business is an amazing individual, a phenomenal woman, and I'm waiting patiently and rather impatiently, raging at God for that hand. When I get that hand back in my own, I know that all will be well in my soul. Until that time, I am raging at God for the number of years that he said, don't worry, even though right now she's odd, even though right now she hasn't grown much, she will come and she will be what she's supposed to be for your soul. In life, we have moments of time to speak about what is real, and what I do for a living is none of your business unless you want to share it with me what you do for a living so that I know how to interact with you. In life, we have moments of time to tell people the truth of the world. And the truth of the world is that we have to have relationships, we have to have networks, and we have to have freedom in our technology to do everything that works for the Lord.